What's up guys, it's Ryan, and today I am joined by the man himself, Colta35, Anthony Manella. You all thought I was gonna do the intro, didn't you? You're so used to hearing me do it. Well, you know what? Get used to it. It's his channel now. It's my channel, and I'm running the show now. So today, we've got something great for you. We're gonna be reacting to some of Colta35's biggest and most popular videos. Yeah, so these are all videos that Ryan has been a part of that in one way or another, for whatever reason, uh, you guys really like. Yeah. Decided just, to blow up. <laughs> they blew up way more than we ever would have expected. Some of them we expected a little bit, but there's definitely maybe one in here that we never really saw coming. Yeah, so we are gonna take a look at Siren Head 4. Siren, Siren Head, Head is 4. Fake, the new Marshmallow. New Marshmallow and Among Us 1. Which one do you wanna start with? Let's go in with Among Us because it was the last one that I said, so it should be the first one that we react to. Why? I don't know. Please, please, you gotta back me up. Vote for Anthony. I forgot about that. So did I. Okay. <gasps> Another one? <laughs> Andrew, why'd you do it? Why does everyone think it's me? I now think it's Grandpa. You know what? That does make more sense. I vote Grandpa. I vote Grandpa. I vote Grandpa. <laughs> <laughs> We vote him out, the game doesn't end, so it wasn't Grandpa. What's funny about that is that means, what was he doing out there with that knife? <laughs> I was just gonna say that, like, now it's like we kinda wanna know what was going on there with the knife. And maybe for fun, this is kinda like a behind the scenes a little bit, or we can give some backstory on what our thoughts are. What do you think he was doing with the knife? I know what he was doing with the knife. Okay, what was he doing? He was just gardening. Okay, and that's actually really <laughs> funny that you said that. My, my theory is that he was out there with this large kitchen knife, just cutting the grass. So like instead of mowing the lawn, he's slicing one blade of grass at a time mm, with this knife. Right, yeah, no, he has a very unconventional way of doing pretty much everything. Mm -hmm. In my head, he's just gardening. That's how I pictured that scene going. Yeah. It just looked bad from the outside. <laughs> okay, what's actually funny here, I don't know if you remember this, but I remember from the writing process is when we had Mulligan die, originally, the way in our heads that we wanted him to die, and somehow we wanted to show this, was that we wanted him to get shot by a cannonball. Oh yes, I do, I remember, we did write that. We genuinely wrote that and had that plan, Mulligan gets shot by cannonball. And then when it was like time to film, we were like, wait a second, how are we <laughs> gonna do this? And also like, who would have shot it? There was like no plot to that yeah. at all. There was no, we just wanted that to happen for no reason. <laughs> so we cut it. Sometimes we have a lot of really fun ideas that are just not physically possible. We have, we have a lot of really, someday when we're a cartoon, mm -hmm. <laughs> those are gonna be wild. Oh, here comes the best scene. Andrew and Toph are the only ones in this room. That means the imposter is Toph. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> what is he doing? Oh, oh. That's like one of my favorite scenes that we've done in, in ever? videos. Maybe ever. It's definitely like in the top five. Just in case I got voted out, I decided to throw you guys off. I pre-planted a trap by sticking some furniture to the ceiling. Do you remember what I'm remembering? No. How long it took you to get through that line of saying, oh. sticking some furniture to the ceiling. Yeah, yeah. Because it was so absurd. Yeah, I could not get through it. But it you, it doesn't translate here. I don't look like I'm laughing. Yeah. It's, I love this ending scene because it's a very different acting style for me mm -hmm. than I'm used to on the channel, you know? You never see me being like evil or like sinister like this. It was very fun to play like the bad guy for once. Yeah, there's like very few videos where you kind of go into that darker Yeah, path as myself. And, yeah. I do it as Mulligan all the time, mm -hmm. but that's like a totally, that's like a very over the top sinister. Yeah, and you know, I will say, I feel like the videos where you do go this route with your character are some of the best videos. S'mores too. I don't need someone to vote about. I have the knife. It doesn't matter. I've already won. I love this part. Me too. I loved getting to like mock you like that. Where did I go? <laughs> ah, dang it! All right, well, that's Among Us in real life. Yeah, all right, let's move on to the next. We are up to um, the new marshmallow. And I kind of want to give a little backstory on this one okay. before we go all the way into it. This video was kind of like my comeback onto the channel. So. During all the years of when we were in high school and this channel was growing and growing, I was just kind of in videos here and there, 
not too often, just once in a while. And then for like, after we graduated for like four years, I just disappeared off the face of the earth. It's not like we got into a fight and didn't talk to them for four years. There right, was yeah. never any sort of, uh, like I don't want people to speculate that there was something going on there. Except for that one Except thing. For that one, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but um, yeah, anyway, so I came back in around the 100,000 subscriber special and then it was like, the following year, at the start of the year, I contacted Anthony and I'm like, hey, I got a bunch of video ideas. Can I come share them with you? And what's funny is this video wasn't even one of those ideas. I don't even remember and don't think we ever did my other ideas. We didn't. This wasn't one of them. And when I was driving over to his house, I was like, hey, you know, Marshmallow is a pretty popular guy. It would be fun to parody Marshmallow in some way. And I got to his house and shared the idea and then as soon as he said that, the gears just started turning and me and you were rapid fire like, oh, we, we immediately knew what the series was gonna be about. Yeah. Like right away. I'm here for your s'mores. Oh my God, he has no mustache. No mustache, Andrew. Wow. Just the way I like him. He looks so, so much younger here. He does look younger. Man. Uh, hello? So notice that you don't see him answer the phone here. It's just his pocket. Because it was out of focus. That's because that's Christopher's hand. Oh, right, 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 yeah. That's Christopher. Andrew's shot was out of focus, mm -hmm. yeah. And I and I had to have Christopher do that, and I just used Andrew's audio. I also want to say the song comes from, well, I mean, I think it's just his own song in general, but it. I got the idea from Star vs. The Forces of Evil when Marco's ringtone was this song. And I was like, I know in my head, that's the song that needs to be in this. You know, I gotta say, Watching old videos is really hard for me because again, this was like one of the first videos I was in coming back to the channel. So, and not, not even saying that before and when I was in videos, I was a good actor, I wasn't. So coming in now, this is like the very beginning of my acting. And it's so hard to watch old videos, even videos that are a couple months old because I just look at it and think, wow, I was such a bad actor. Like my deliveries are horrible. And the biggest thing that I always struggled with and I can see it every time is that my face doesn't move when I say say lines. I can say lines with like a lot of emotion in it or, or whatever, but my face doesn't change. There's no like facial expressions. Ah. I actually, I think one of the biggest problems that I used to have with you was that every line, you always looked like you were smiling. Yeah. You would you had a hard time getting through lines without like like l holding back some sort of laughter or something. Yeah. Even if it wasn't a funny line, I don't know. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know what's wrong with me. Acting is hard. It is hard. It took me a while to get semi decent at it. You're absurd. This scene is just incredible and I just, it, there's just so many questions. Yeah. Like, is Seth just running around naked somewhere? I hope. <laughs> <laughs> he just took off all of his clothes and just sprinted out of Anthony's house. I hope that he's just, that's exactly what he did. I just have to say that. I really hurt his head. Yeah. <laughs> I was under the mask, obviously. I was s'mores and that was brutal. He was actually smashing my face into that door and uh, it, it hurt quite a bit. Not fun. No. And I think we didn't even get it on the first take. I'm pretty sure I had to do that multiple times. I remember doing it more than once. Or maybe that was just the head head damage that you did to me that I'm not remembering it No, correctly. we did it twice. Yeah. Yeah. I remember, I think we did it once and you're like, yeah, I don't think it was good enough. And I'm like, you've gotta be kidding me. It didn't look good. Yeah. I'm, maybe I'm a little bit of a perfectionist sometimes. What can I say? 
It's stuck. You know what they say, if you leave a mask on for too long. You leave a mask on for too long? Never comes off. Always plant something at the beginning that comes back at the end. That is how you write a proper script. Okay, so the last video that we're gonna watch is called Siren Head is Fake. Now this is kind of, in a way, Siren Head 4. Okay, I know this may sound crazy, but it's about Siren Head. <laughs> <laughs> this is me in real life every time someone brought up Siren Head. I'm not making another Siren Head. Yeah, self-aware. This is about real life. Siren Head just chased me through the woods and I barely escaped. What are we doing in the woods? Because this was the worst shoot. This was the worst shoot. I'm remembering it we now. We were literally getting attacked by these bugs that we didn't even know what they were. We didn't know what they were, and they followed us back to your house. Yes. For everyone watching, let this be a lesson to you. Don't go walking into a sump. No matter what homeless man tells you to follow him, don't do it. it no, nothing good has ever come from us walking into a sump. Anthony stepped down a bottle of urine, and it poured all over his leg. No. Our friend John stepped all over the bottle of urine and splashed it all over my leg. Moral of the story is nothing good comes from being in a sump, so don't do it. If you're thinking about it, stop. Don't do it. Yeah, stop thinking. No. Got some pee on your leg? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> someone's pee. Wow, we actually, we were aware of the joke at yeah, the time. Yeah, we definitely did that on purpose. Yeah, you do that every there it is. There it is. Wow, this timing is weird. No, 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 no. We tricked you into making Siren Head 4. Your fans are finally gonna love me more than Andrew. Uh, it didn't work. <laughs> it didn't work. <laughs> it didn't work. <laughs> Let me know in the comments if it worked. But uh, yeah, that, that line was just because in every video, everyone kept commenting, where's Andrew? Where's Andrew? Where's Andrew? Where's Andrew? And I was like, guys, it's am a I? It's a pandemic. He is not cap able to come over right now. <laughs> and was I just not good enough? Instead of people commenting and saying, wow, Ryan's great. I like Ryan. He's a good character. Everyone was just saying, where's Andrew? I know. Where is he? Where is he? To this day, every time that he goes missing for one video, it's where's Andrew? And it's like, guys, he has a life. You, you, you gotta help me. Okay, fine. Luckily for you, I've been researching Siren Head and I found the one way to take him down. We just need a large bowl of- Ah! Ryan! Hey, hey, easy- What were you gonna say? Uh, a we large- A large bowl of what? Spaghetti. Yeah, that's what I thought. Yeah. Just Siren Head's weakness is spaghetti. If you guys are ever in a situation where Siren Head is attacking you, just make some spaghetti. Say, hey Siren Head, I got some spaghetti. You want some? And he will freak out. That's the lore that we made up, <laughs> at least. No, it's real. Siren Head's real. Right. Right. This is a real defense, Anthony. I'm sorry. Trying to educate them. And just to clarify, it's not that we're like, we hate the Siren Head videos or anything, and that's why I don't want to make more. It's that I know that if we make more, they're not going to be good. We're avoiding running the series dry. You guys, you know, when you ask for things that are uh, a series or, or an extra part, sometimes it's like, we don't have ideas. We can't. Yeah. We can't make something that we're not passionate about. It's not gonna be good. We're just gonna be killing it. Yeah, we're also both very much perfectionists. Yeah. So we can't let ourselves make anything that we know is pushing the envelope yeah. or like if a lower quality. If we think we quality. can't top the thing before, we don't do it. Yeah, that's why you don't really get all these endless Siren Head videos or S'mores 20, Among Us 7. These videos don't happen. I mean, that's not how storytelling works. You know, stories have a beginning and an end. Yeah. Once a story reaches that end, it shouldn't be reopened. Mm -hmm. And when it gets reopened, that's when things are bad. Yeah. And that's why so many movie franchises, <laughs> because they're just trying to make money. But I don't care about money. <laughs> I probably should have cared more about money and just made more Siren Heads, but I didn't. I will say though that I do believe that Siren Head, the character, is probably going to make some sort of return in some capacity in a video in the future. Don't expect that as a promise. I'm just throwing that out there that I feel like it would happen because we do like to bring some I have an idea, back. but it's not a it's not a Siren Head video. He's just in it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. that's the way I I have a couple ideas too, and it is not like a Siren Head video. It's, yeah, yeah. He's just in the video. Yeah. So, 
my channel, remember? Right. Thank you guys so much for watching. Let me know in the comments below if you wanna see more reaction videos and if you want Anthony to come on in and react with me sometimes. I see every comment now, they're just like, yeah, Ryan, you're better without him. They don't want me. Anyway, don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. And if you enjoyed the video, then I would really appreciate if you would give it a like. My channel's just starting to grow. And I have to say, honestly, I am very surprised and overwhelmed at all of your support on my first video. I honestly expected that video to get no views and it's at 1.6 thousand views, which is mind blowing to for, me. For your first video, that's amazing. It really is. And my subscriber jump was also incredible. I went from like 200 to, I'm at 500 now and- Let's get him to a thousand. Let's, we can do it. We can we do it guys. We can do it. I can't thank you enough for your support. And that's about everything that I have to say. Thank you again for watching and I'll see you guys on the next one. Peace Bye, out. Bye guys.